So I just ran the 2x4 piece just several times, just sneaking up on the perfect size. And I've ended up with about an eighth of an inch of space in between the two, what, what do you call it? The 2x4 piece came out to just under one and a half inches. So I didn't really need to glue those two 2x4s two together. I was thinking I would have to have a bigger piece, but apparently not. So um, I'm leaving the gap uh, so that I can add some leather padding or, you know, I'm going to have a work piece in there as well. So taking up some of that space. So that's where I'm going to leave it at, and now I'm going to go ahead and put everything together. All right, so this is the stitching pony. You basically sit on a chair with this under your legs so that you have your leather right here, right in a comfortable position to stitch. You can loosen it up. There's three different holes so that depending on the, the height of your workpiece, you know, you can adjust it to a different hole. But you can open it up, put your workpiece in there, tighten it down, and then here you go. So now you have basically an extra set of hands holding your workpiece for you. And of course, uh, it's got a hinge on it, so if you got to, for whatever reason, there it goes. You can open it up for more room. That's basically it. If you want to see more detailed instructions on how to build it, check out Harry Rogers. I basically built his. This is his style. I just didn't make mine rotate. So go to his channel. I'll put a link in the description, and he'll go into more detail about how to build it. So this is just a really quick uh, video about how to build his stitching pony. So, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.